Or not? Or just being... I don't know. OBS is being weird. But regardless, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. I think we're here on file three. If I remember incorrectly, we should have the... Yeah, we just beat Fangora. And this time, we're going into Mole Hole. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I last recorded um, this game. You know, opposed to a cold second. I think I made that joke in this, in this Let's Play already. But we're introduced to something we won't, would have otherwise been introduced to for a while. The Mole Man. Or the Digger. Use D-pad to move. I'm gonna start doing this for, um... New... New, uh, transformations from here on out. Um... Just, you can just hit, uh, the minus button to bring up the screen. On the original re Wii version. I do not remember what button it is on the remake, and I will only be really talking about the remake once we're done this Let's Play. Cause really, Extra Epic Yarn, or EX... ...is... Uh, kind of its own beast entirely. You know, aside from 3DS capture card issues, capture unit issues, uh, I mainly want to focus on the original, because that's what I grew up with. Press 1 to dig, and press hold to continue going, and you can jump. You can also get a slight sword speed boost, and you can dig through cotton with it. Outside of holding down the button, you don't move very fast. You can also... Uh... Chill on walls... That are... That you can also dig through. Thankfully, outside of self-imposed uh, challenge requirements of getting gold... Gold medals... Um... Getting it is fine. But it basically goes throughout the entire game, though. Yeah, holding one is faster. I have to remember where all the treasure is. Quicksand is quicksand. Oh, so yeah, sometimes you just go kind of flying off of uh, mole platforms. Oh, flying upwards. <laughs> Yawning midstream. Not oh, midstream, mid recording. Ah. Thankfully, we have not seen the ruiner of all gold metal runs yet. Now it's not a specific enemy type. Just, just a certain bastard. Uh, 
and hopefully we will not see for most of the game. Granted, we won't really see them until we see bottomless pits or bottomless pit equivalents. We're replaying the stage, aren't we? No, no, we're not. Weird. We didn't hit the ground. Ah, no five stars for us. be able to get to the world 2 today. Hi. Which would be uh, fun getting started on that. We might have a two episode world 2. Though we might not get as far as I think I am because I remember this is a fucking auto scroller. This is a fluffing auto scroller because fuff you. Why did it not have an auto scroller in World One? Thankfully, this is pretty much the only major instance of an auto scroller that isn't just a shmup level. Spear will hurt you, by the way. Yeah, pretty simple. Most of the controls in this game are pretty simple, although you're a little floaty. I think as a kid I did, before I had a major access to the internet, I did get all the um, treasures without having to look them up. Are you ready for an auto schooler boss? This enemy will only appear in this level. It takes like two hits to beat. It's not exactly an interesting fight. Back to our scroller mode.
I forgot what I was going to say. My train of thought completely died. Oh yeah, I was saying as a kid, I got pretty sure I got most of the treasures without look, having to look any of them up. Granted, they're not hard to f most of them aren't exactly hard to find. And our gen on the pathway, but granted I didn't know about the whole bosses sometimes have attacks that you can um hit them with to get extra beads from them until decently late into my life. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use that. Yep, this do be an off scroller. I don't know what you expect to say me to say. This is literally just a auto scroller. Yeah, we did get everything. Ah, uh, you, you can't see the disc in the treasure too above my head. Big yawn. Not because, oh, bo ha ha, boring level, but no, because, um, Brain hasn't quite turned on yet, and it just really doesn't. Not like working when it's not turned on completely. As I record, I'll, pro I'll probably, um, restart. No, we'll, we'll get to you in a second, but I really want to just continue. So I don't think we can do uh, either of the um, new pads until we've done some of uh, Hotland. Anyways, welcome to Hotland. A lot less uh, fire and brimstone and more desert. So I guess the dunes rather than Hotland. Yet. <laughs> there will be fire and brimstone. Maybe not this episode, but there will definitely be some next episode. So I don't remember when the next when the first lava level gets introduced. Now bottomless pits. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so those pits are bottomless. Unless the camera scrolls down, then it, you know, not bottomless, but. Yeah. And tornadoes. They will basically take any, um. Item. And money bags! They, they have money in them if you hit them with A and attack that gets beads. So basically, any of the, um. Extra uh, power uh, copy abilities? Or. Hit them with another enemy. Anything that draws beads. Or causes beads to draw. I'll make that completely safe. 
That should be our path to our first treasure. I was gonna say this isn't going very fast, but I'm also not really trying to go fast. We'll grab you in a second. Right, these bastards. Need your yarn really quick. They drop lots of beads, but they're also um, nigh invulnerable enemies. So any beads caught in the um, vortex, I believe, won't despawn, even if they normally would. Like, enemy beads won't despawn, which are... I think player drops beads won't despawn. Damn it, I missed. Basically, any beads that are affected by gravity will despawn. Alright, are you ready for racing? Press 1 to accelerate, press two, and press 2 to jump. This is kind of an auto schooler, but also you can get uh, decent times by hitting um, those boosters. And you'll have to get that to get all the treasures. Also, if you land on top of an uh, enemy eraser or hit them with the boost, you will get beads from them. Though the timing is strict. For the, at least for the jumping on part. I think we're gonna squeak out first place. Yeah. Also, another thing you can do is that. Just, just kill the other racers. Pretty fun level of things. Uh, ability. Uh, form chain. But, nah. By the way, in multiplayer, throwing your ally, which does do damage to enemies, will not drop beads. Which is what that baseball form is, by the way. Magic lamp. Lamp. <laughs> Damn it. Lamp! Oh, we are gonna get, get to Fire and Brimstone this level. Yeah. This is where, um, as a child, like, 
It's like, second day of owning this game. I already have gotten here. But uh, those bonds will destroy, um... Platforms. Uh, hard blocks. So do be careful. Also, these are time bombs. Do be careful. Usually these enemies have, um... Stuff like this will usually have an infinite enemy spawner. Yeah. I am really struggling to... There we go. But I... Anything caught in to the volcano that isn't player drops will not despawn. To my knowledge. Bother. We are going to try to go the upper route, though. It's a lot easier said than done. Stone Lantern. How the flying flip did I get that? Whatever we think that was. Cartoon meat! I remember this level. Skip. <laughs> This is a short level, all things considered, but also fire arrows, move, spray, and spray. You can also jump. Again, very simple, but also very painful. <laughs> this is not exactly. Easy stuff to work with. Especially because you don't have your hover. Or access to it. Much access to it. Oh, so this was essentially Water Kirby before Water Kirby was even introduced. You know what? Think about it. It's hard to believe that it wasn't until Kirby's return to Dreamland that the water copy ability was even a thing that was introduced. And then it kind of left for most of the rest of the uh, series. Being replaced by poison in um, Planet Robobot, I've been appearing in uh, Triple Deluxe. Um... 
By the way, the lava pit does kind of uh, does rubber band, to my knowledge. So don't think you can be cheeky by going exceptionally fast. By the way, that is much easier than um anything else. Did we? No, because I saw, see that treasure right there. Lava landing. Unfortunately, we have to miss out on the um, five stars. Oh, well. We get the zeros. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, so yeah. Damn, I tried to thought. Damn it. They just completely left the station. In between episodes, like, I just figured out what I was going to talk about, so, yeah. Till next time.